Hello everyone and welcome to a new YouTube video by me, DuffDuff Building. If you saw my last video, you will already know the space. That video was never planned to go public, but because you liked it so much and I got so many comments about uploading a tutorial in it, I tried my best to get it out as fast as possible. This bunker works by you placing a floor triangle for stability here and then having enough stability in this floor frame to place the roof. By breaking this floor again, the roof will crumble. I know you will be able to splash into this bunker using bean cans, but using that amount of bean cans and hitting all of them is highly unlikely in my opinion. But how do we build this base? Well, let's begin with a square foundation in which we will have our normal unlootable TC room, except this time with a half height floor frame in it. The placement shouldn't be affected other than that TC and the vending machine can't be placed flat against the wall. Expanding fast here is important because the floor frame will make it a lot harder and slower to get into this door. Double doors go here on the sides and a single door goes in front. Because this many doors would cost a lot of metal at the start, using wooden ones is okay. As your main entrance you should use the single door in front, because it will allow you to add an airlock here, if you leave the door frame and the floor as wood. Expanding through the sides allows for a lot of extra space that can be used for early game utility. Add both the barbecues and small boxes here already, so you have some good protected early game storage. Once you grew out of the space, start the expansion upwards by soft siding this floor. For the jump up, two walls and a double door go here. To upgrade the floor you will need something to boost you up, here I use a furnace. Starting with the second floor, windows go all around. This window next to the airlock should become a full wall, unless you want to add an additional garage door in between the squares. You don't need to add a half height floor for the jump up here, if you rather have a ladder, ladder hatch or furnace. Up here you can add a shooting floor with peak downs if you want, but I don't think that a base of this size really needs it and it will definitely make it a lot more likely that people will see you as a potential raid target. Because our actual entrance is now on the second floor, we will need a roof that can allow us to get up there. Be sure to add the triangle foundation before the roof, because otherwise you won't be able to place it. This frame also needs to be soft sided. If you don't have metal hatchet BP, I would recommend using machetes and repairing them with a repair bench. These extra triangles here aren't necessary for the beginning, but important for later protection. Now that the base is almost fully built, let's get into upgrading. Expand the unlootable as you usually would. If you don't know how to do that, I will link to a tutorial on it right here. As you can see here, if TC and vending machine are placed correctly, the floor frame shouldn't interfere with accessing them at all. Upgrade the entire core to metal, as well as the jump up that will later become our bunker. Here on the second floor, upgrade the two square roofs to metal and place these four garage doors. A layer of honeycomb needs to be added behind the unlootable. Behind this window you have space for three furnaces, which if used correctly should be enough for a solo or even duo. Your tier 2 can go up here for easy crafting of ammo or mats without needing to get into the core. Back down here we will start adding the loot rooms. Half height floors go here with two boxes on top and bottom, if you want four additional campfires would fit in as well.
Add the window to this loot room first, because for the other one, we will first have to place the tier 3 against this wall and as close to the space for the window without blocking it. If done correctly, the window will fit right into place and you will also be able to add a half height floor frame, which you should upgrade to metal. Even though I think this is a solo or at max a duo base, four sleeping bags will fit here. Last but not least, don't forget to extend the honeycomb to the top. This was the video, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. We are really close to 1000 subscribers. Until next time, later!